Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another FU Money. Just a quick update. Uh, today is the end of the week, so we we will have a weekly candle close at uh, midnight UTC. So, as this is just a quick update, let's go directly to the charts. Okay, P2P model, price to time model. Uh, let's zoom in here where the price action is. <coughs> Sorry. So we continue to trade above the exponential line. Uh, as that happens, we see two red candles already closer together than this one here. Um, so let's see what happens. I guess the price to time model will indicate some kind of trigger for a correction. Okay, let's go to the MRI strategy. So what's happening here? The monthly is still bullish. We are trading this candle after this one, which had the green star. That's a buy signal. So the RSI is continuing to decline its ascent. So it's not going in this direction like before. The MACD is very very bullish and no signs of turning around but as this is the monthly chart also so i guess it will be lagging a bit however the fissure difference from the exponential moving average is reaching a top as you can see we are already above the other tops around here so i guess this will have to come down sometime okay let's go to the weekly the weekly continues just like yesterday so we are still trading inside those two lines that i've drawn here i have another one today which i will show you on the four hour so let me just remove that from there uh, the RSI is going into so the normal territory, leaving the overextended. The MACD seems to be reaching a top here. It's also declining a bit. A lighter green candle. This oscillator is approaching the neutral. So not much to say on the weekly regarding you know as comparing to yesterday so let's uh, see the daily okay RSI declining MACD also becoming bearish the funding rate is below the threshold however this oscillator uh, is approaching also a turning point so not much difference from yesterday on the daily candle there's really nothing much to see here on this chart let's go to the four hour okay so here is where i was watching something a bit more closely the funding rate uh, you can see the funding rate much uh, closer now so uh, you know the four hour chart gives you a, a more detailed um, price on the f uh, price sorry level on the funding rate but what i was watching today this morning was that we could have here a trend line which by the way when i drew it the first time the three candles the last three candles were not there so i drew it something like that touching the bottom of that fourth candle counting backwards so this was around here so as you can see we have a trend that was broken this morning around 8 a.m we had a reversal an immediate reversal already so i guess the pressure you know the buy pressure here is very high 
however we broke the trend line and we are now very indecisive this candle is going up and down and trying to decide if it will remain above the trend line or below the trend line so as i said i am very neutral still even since yesterday because there are many indications that that market could turn bullish or bearish anytime soon but there are no clear indications to which direction the market will go so this is a trend line that i am going to look closely for the next few hours or even few days and let's see let's see what happens uh with the price action um so the let's take a look at the one hour just to check the funding rate so as you can see the funding rate turned bullish so when the funding rate goes negative this is a very bullish sign that's why the price held this level at 55 this was the lowest uh the last uh, swing low which is 55 500 and when the funding rate crossed over my other threshold which is uh, 0 0.06 in this bar here i can show it closely so as soon as this bar crossed my 0 0.06 threshold which is the green line the price started to reverse and go up so as you see uh, there was there was a question uh sorry i don't have i don't have the the comments uh here right now just to say the name of the person who asked the question but you know who you are so if you're watching the video you know i'm uh talking about this you ask me uh, how do i consider the the bitmax funding rate uh good you know sentiment um um indicator and uh as you can see here when the price was going up the funding rate was also going up as soon as this became on top of my threshold of 0 0.11 the red line here to the upside the price began to fall and then when the price fell too much around here the funding rate started to go down and then we had a new reversal so the funding rate is actually a very good indicator of the sentiment uh, of the market so actually when it goes above my my threshold you know the red one or the green one uh, this is a very good uh, indicator or, or signal that we could be expecting a reversal in the price action so it's much easier to understand the sentiment of the market looking at the funding rate and so that's why i like to go to the one hour chart and 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 check this however in the one hour chart we are very indecisive on top of this trend line that i just drew and you know the price is not the price action is not giving any indications of what's going to happen next if this is going to be above the trend or below the trend so if we remain below the trend and if by the way the funding rate starts to go higher uh, the bars start to go higher to positive territory i would say that we are in order for another descent of the price so we are probably going down if the oscillators turn if this one in, uh, indicates a reversal if the rsi starts stops being neutral and goes down a bit and if the bitmax funding rate starts to go up up the bars start to go up even to positive area then i'm guessing the price will continue to go down if this is not the case if the you know the funding rate continues to be negative and if it crosses the green line to the downside then i expect the price to go up probably to the next uh you know conversion here of the moving averages okay so let's not take too long uh this is just a quick update today let me go to the pro indicators strategy 
so the channel remains to be uh, just the price action remains uh, trading only in the uh, upper half of the channel it's becoming impossible for the price to cross the middle of the channel to the downside we are not I'm, I'm not having the fourth range boundary I was expecting around the uh somewhere between somewhere between the 48k and the 50 lower 50s um so the price is turning again back to the upside here we can also just for you to have an idea of a larger here we I can draw again this line the trend line that I drew before. So as you can see, we could consider this a bearish flag. If you consider the top of the channel where the third range boundary defines the direction of the channel and then this red trend line supports the price, uh, not just one, but two, three, four, four times it supported the price on the fifth time the price crossed to the downside of that trend line however we are again inside this bearish flag and i would say that if we continue to go up and we cross the all-time highs we are getting in re dangerous territory so this is a very critical time we are we are uh, seeing now in the markets very confusing indications uh, to the bearish side, to the bullish side, I would say that we have to wait some more time until we start to see some clear uh, indications of what's going to happen next. However, if the price action would come down to form a fourth range boundary around this area here or around this area here, that would be much more clear of what could happen next which would be of course a reversal of the price on the fourth range boundary going up breaking the third range boundary price level and reach new all-time highs in a healthy and and um, sustainable uh, manner so that's it for today's uh, just a quick um, you know just a quick um, analysis um, I expect to continue to see the price action until the close of the weekly candle and if something really extraordinary happens I will come back and and uh, make another video for you guys so please if you like this content hit the like button and share it with your friends okay guys see you in the next one Bye.